Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. Before we get into this one, make sure to please drop a like in the video if you guys do want to see AMC get some new all-time highs this week. We had a great green day today, so let's keep the momentum going. Drop a like in the video, please. Also, if you guys want some free cash, make sure to go down below and sign up for the public app. Public is another stock broker just like Robinhood, only right now they are giving out free stocks for those that use my link and sign up without even having to make a deposit. So we do have a new article just came out today. This is pretty crazy considering this one comes from The Motley Fool. The Motley Fool over the last few weeks has been talking a lot of negative things towards AMC and a lot of the meme stocks and things have sort of shifted today for whatever reason. So I think this is pretty substantial considering a lot of these different news outlets have been posting mostly negative stuff for AMC. So now that the tides have turned, let's see what they have to say. The scenario could cause AMC's earnings to jump substantially. These days, AMC Holdings is known more for being a meme stock than any other of its attributes. Retail traders posting or reading posts on Reddit trading forums apparently chose to buy and hold the stock to counter hedge funds, betting that AMC stock price would go down in a move commonly referred to as a short squeeze. The Reddit crowd is winning the battle so far. There we go, guys. AMC stock price is up roughly 2,450% year to date. AMC's management has been smart to take this price and opportunity and sold some new shares. This had already helped it survive the most acute phase of the pandemic when all of its theaters were closed to viewers and the company was bleeding cash. It plans to use some of the new funds to help pay down debt it accumulated during the pandemic. But this battle between Reddit traders and hedge funds is creating another opportunity for AMC to raise enough cash to boost earnings in the long run. Uncomfortable position. AMC management has already approached the maximum number of shares it's authorized to sell to raise equity. If it wants to sell new stock, it needs to get shareholder approval. Management is aiming to do just that. One of the proposals is brought forward at this year's shareholder meeting is on authorization to sell 25 million shares. At today's closing price of 5406, the sales of 25 million shares of AMC could raise around 1.35 billion. Debt has also been a problem for AMC. Interest expenses at times exceeded operating income. Debt could be an even bigger burden as the company borrowed at higher interest during the pandemic in the most recent quarter. AMC reported an interest expense of $150 million annualized. That would be $600 million and more than double the interest expense of $292.8 million in 2019. So now we get to the good part. What this means for shareholders, if AMC votes to authorize additional share sale, the management subsequently uses the money to pay back high interest debt. It could fundamentally improve AMC's earning potential. As of March 31st, AMC had $5.4 billion in debt. The estimated cash could raise the equity sale of 25 million shares, could pay back 25% of its debt, potentially decreasing interest expense to below pre-pandemic levels. Furthermore, if retail investors maintain their enthusiasm for supporting AMC, they could vote for even more share sales, which could be enough to pay back all of the $5.4 billion of the company's debt. That would remove the biggest thorn on AMC's side as its interest payment is close to surpassing its rent income. The difference is that rent paid on theaters that allow the company to generate profit, whereas the debt is unnecessary for AMC to provide service to patrons. In that way, AMC shareholders have the power to fundamentally improve the company's long-term financial health and earnings prospects. It remains to be seen if investors will choose to do so. The last day of voting is July 28th. So this article was pretty spot on in saying that AMC has a opportunity to raise some more money and pay down some of the really high interest debt, which of course is a thorn on the side of AMC. AMC fundamentally has a lot going for it, in my opinion, from the fact that since the movie theaters have been reopened and there is so much demand for people actually to go back. On top of that, all the enthusiasm for the retail investors and so many other positive catalysts that have been coming out it's really day after day. I'm really bullish on AMC overall as a company, but we are stuck with the decision whether or not as shareholders to vote to allow AMC to raise more capital in the form of selling more shares, which of course in some ways would dilute the shares that we have. But at the same time, raising some more cash and paying down some high interest debt, getting that out of the way for a long term hold if you know you are an AMC holder for the long term, I would think that that's a pretty good opportunity to then do so. But if you guys want to make sure to stay up to date with everything else that's going on, make sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications on. Also, make sure to drop a like in the video for some good luck for AMC and click the link down below in my description and sign up for public to grab a free stock. Thanks as always for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one.
And lastly, you guys, we do have a Discord server that's dedicated to investors like you. It's full of dividend investors, option traders, day traders, and much, much more. So join the Discord. The link is down below in the description. It's absolutely free to join. And I hope we see all of you guys in there.